What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert, AKA Pretty Boy Rob. Don't mind the beard looking more like Caveman Rob, but that is besides the point for today's episode of Shoe Care Academy. We got these Ama Manier 4s. Four words when I think about this shoe right now is crusty, musty, dusty, and rusty. However, using our essential shoe cleaning kit, we about to make this shoe look lovely, 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 lovely. But all that being said, there ain't much to it but to do it. So let's hop straight into this episode of Shoe Care Academy. All right, y'all, here we go. We got our cleaning station all prepped for today's video. We are gonna be using our essential shoe cleaning kit, which comes with all three of our signature brushes, solution, and a towel. We are also using our mat, because as you can see, we are gonna be making a mess here, and we just want a clean surface, plus our dry rack bowl combo. Before we do get it started, we're just gonna grab one shoe, set it to the side, so let me get this one. Get it over there, and we are gonna be working on this right shoe for today's video. Again, it's gonna be a muddy, murky mess, so rather than starting that right now, I'm gonna go ahead and step outside and dry brush most of this dirt off, so follow me. All right, guys, we are back from outside. We went ahead and dry brush most of that loose dirt off. We still got some deeper stains. However, our essential shoe cleaning kit is gonna get that job done. So I ain't even worried about that. Right now, we just gotta go in and remove these shoelaces and insert our adjustable shoe tree. Hit me. All right, the laces are out right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these inside our bowl of water. Let those soak throughout the whole cleaning process but we are gonna need some solution. We do got our laces soaking. Right now, I am just gonna start with our soft bristle brush. Due to this shoe just being such a premium material, we wanna avoid not to oversaturate it. Gonna grab our soft bristle brush, dip it in our solution water, and get to work. Since the shoe was completely covered in mud, it's always a good idea to grab your towel and wipe off some of that mud so you're not just smearing it around, pushing it all over the shoe. As you can see, I'm doing that right now, and I am noticing some deeper stains, so I'm just gonna jump right back using our soft bristle brush. All right guys, I am all done with that second pass using our soft bristle brush. One pro tip when cleaning this sneaker or any shoe that has similar materials, you do need to make sure you clean that whole shoe completely even. You wanna make sure you clean under these wings, behind the tab, the tongue, etc. You need to make sure you clean the whole shoe completely even to allow the shoe to dry evenly. Basically what I mean is, let's say there was mud just on this toe box and we grabbed our soft bristle brush, just scrubbed this toe box, got that mud off, and we're like, oh yeah, it's clean, psych. It isn't gonna be clean. Basically, you're gonna experience a huge watermark and we don't like that. That's the reason you need to clean the whole shoe completely even. Right now though, I am gonna hop straight into our medium bristle brush. I'm not gonna spend any more time on these uppers. Again, it's a premium material. We don't wanna oversaturate this. I'm just gonna pay attention to this midsole and then get into it with our stiff bristle brush. Let's get it, let's go. All right guys, that is gonna wrap it up for these uppers. They are looking phenomenal, if I say so myself. However, we still gotta take care of this dirty sole. With that, all we need is our stiff bristle brush. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much gonna wrap it up for this cleaning right now. The shoe is a little damp. Up top, so we're gonna go ahead and set it outside, let it dry for a couple hours, and we'll come back before you know it. Get out of here. Whoopsie, almost forgot the laces. Let's go ahead and just grab these right out of our bowl of water, scrub them between my hands, we're gonna make it quick. Getting all that excess dirt and grime off these laces. Well, no mud on the laces, they look clean to me, so I'm out of here, one more time. Yo, I'm a Meniere. We got your shoes, we clean them up for you. Now send a full size run of for the whole world shoe team. Ooh. 
All right, guys, we are back. We did go and let this sneaker dry for about 24 hours, and let's go ahead and talk about these results. Unfortunately, we did experience some water damage. We lost a little bit of color. However, this cleaning is still a nine out of 10. But you know, we wanna get this a 10 out of 10. That's why we're gonna grab our mink oil and our horsehair brush, step outside, spray a light even coat, and rub it in, and we are gonna be back. Let's go. Woo, it's a little chilly in Arizona today. Let's go though. Yo, what's up with the horsehair brush or your beard? Definitely the beard. <laughs> Let's cut that, cut that, cut that. All right guys, we are back from outside. The mink oil definitely pulled through. These are now a 10 out of 10. Right now we just gotta go ahead and get them laced up. <clears throat> All right, we got these shoes all laced up. Let's go ahead and talk about this sneaker before we bring the dirty shoe in. Obviously, we all know it's the Amma Manier 4. They've dropped several different silhouettes, you know, the ones, the threes, the fours. They even got the airships, and I'm sure more are gonna be dropping this year. I wanna know from you guys, what is your favorite Amma Manier release of all time? Right now, the four is definitely my favorite release. I'm really liking what they did with the shoe, with this pre-age midsole, obviously the quilted sock line that they've been doing on all the releases, as well as this back tab. Let's go ahead and get a close up and see what it says. As you can see, this says it's not all about the shoes. However, the other shoe says another quote, so let's grab that one and bring it into the frame. And on this dirty pair, it says it's about where you're going with Michael Jordan's signature. Again, it's not about the sneakers, it's about where you're going, people, remember that. But let's go ahead and talk about how we got these results. As you see with this one, it's musty, dusty, crusty, and rusty, but we got it looking lovely, lovely, lovely. Using our essential shoe cleaning kit, paired with our mink oil and horsehair brush. All the products you saw, all are available at reshoenator.com. Make sure you use that link in the description to save you guys some dollars. But before I dip, let's go ahead and just recap exactly how we got these results. We used our soft bristle brush on these uppers since it is that premium material. We then used the medium on our midsole and the stiff brush on that outsole. We then let it dry for about 24 hours. We stepped outside, used the mink oil, sprayed a one light even coat, brushed it in, and we brought this shoe back to life. Remember guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibe. My name is Pretty Boy Rob, and I'll see y'all in the future. Deuces. Ooh.